हेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन ट्यूटोरियल क्लासेस फॉर बिंदा भवन हाई सेकेंडरी स्कूल दिस वीडियो इज फॉर क्लास सिक्स फिजिकल साइंस एंड द चैप्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू टूडे इज द एलिमेंट कंपाउंड एंड मिक्सर दिस वीडियो इज पार्ट थ्री फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर इन द प्रीवियस टू वीडियो वी फर्स्ट डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट इज द एलिमेंट वॉट इज द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द एलिमेंट In this video, we are going to learn about the main three classification of the elements. That is, the solid, uh, the liquid, uh, and the gas that we have, that we have already discussed. And also, now we are going to discuss about after the states of the matter, we are going to discuss about the main three classification that is metal, non-metals, and metalloids. With the example in detail. So let's discuss. This is a picture of periodic table. periodic table of elements it is a table where all the elements are jot down and designed in a particular way where you can find out all the metals uh, metalloids non metals in their own stage or own class so you will learn it later first we are going to learn about the elements what is the definition of the elements like elements can be defined as a pure substance made up of one kind of atom which cannot be further subdivided by any physical or chemical means that means they are like individual things that cannot be broken down into other things or if we broke down that elements we cannot find out the new things or other things which are different from the main thing right they cannot be subdivided by any physical or chemical reactions so let us give some example like copper like gold like silver oxygen mercury chlorine all you can point it out uh, all you can uh, you can point it out all these things in this periodic table so thus the atom is the smallest particle of an element and it cannot be further broken into two or more simpler substances for example if you take silver and is it is made up of only silver atoms or copper is copper is also made up of copper atoms copper means cu you can point it out see you you can see it is a uh, number 29 and silver you can point it out in ag it is 47 so there are more than 110 elements okay more than here you can only see 103 but more than that is there in our art so more than 110 elements known to us till that among them 92 are found in nature they are actually naturally occurring elements and rest have been prepared by the scientist in the laboratory so the others are made up of like physically made up they are not naturally occurring elements and the naturally occurring elements are available mainly in the earth crust in the atmosphere and in the seas as well and also in the oceans the oxygen that is 46.4% and the silicon that is 27.7% are the two most abundant elements present in the earth crust that means in our earth we can only uh the most most present things or they are abundantly present in the earth crust so besides the aluminum iron calcium sodium magnesium etc these are also present here you can see there are many kinds of the uh, various types of the elements are present here some names you know some you don't know you will obviously learn it in your higher classes so nitrogen is the most abundant element present in the earth's atmosphere followed by oxygen 
so after the oxygen the nitrogen is the most abundant thing abundant gas very small amount of other elements such as hydrogen and inert gases inert gases means they are less reactive gases okay helium neon argon krypton xenon redon that you can see it is point uh, in the uh, rightmost part it is present okay so these are the inert gases they are the less reactive gases of the earth so all these elements can be mainly classified into three groups the first one is metal so such as iron silver gold copper lead magnesium aluminium zinc mercury sodium potassium etc here you can see their picture also nickel steel zinc all are the metals steel is not a pure metal it is a mixture so about 70 of the all naturally occurring elements are mainly metals the next of this classification is the non metals here sulfur nitrogen selenium and bromine pictures are given as you can see the sulfur means 16 nitrogen 7 selenium 34 and bromium 35 so such as uh, other met non metals are carbon hydrogen nitrogen already told you uh, phosphorus sulfur already told chlorine etc the non metals have the properties almost the opposite to those of the metals as it's indicated by their name so that is why they are called metals and non metals because their uh, properties are all different just the opposite only 18 of the naturally occurring elements are non metals most of the things are metals the next classification is metalloids their pictures are given that you can see a shiny thing silicon boron antimony is also shining germanium is also shining so there are some elements which show the properties both metals and non metals so that is why only they are called metalloids so metalloids means something that have some properties of metal and some properties of non metals as well so that is why they are called metalloids it is a very important thing and examples of some that like arsenic antimony uh, bismuth are the other examples and some examples are already given here okay so it is the basic idea of the classifications of the uh, elements students i think you understood about uh, the metals non metals and metalloids and uh, you also seen the pictures of them so in the next video we will discuss about more of it till then thank you